call the meeting to order. Coffee? Here. Kelly? Here. McKinley? Yes. Testory? Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Public comments tonight, so we're moving on to section one. The consent, oops, yeah, consent agenda. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. Call. Copy. Yes. Kelly. Yes. McKinley. Yes. Chesley. Yes. Motion she carries. Section two is unfinished business. I move to remove from the table section two. Correct, Joe. Yes. Second. Discussion. Why are we removing section two? Because they were previously table. Oh. Not doing the phone. We just have to put it to the table last night. Make it official. Oh, yeah. We have to put it on the table to talk about it. I got it. Okay. I got it. Sorry. Okay. Second. 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 Yeah. Call it. Call it. Kelly. Yes. McKinley. Yes. Testory? Yes. Coffee? Yes. Motion carries. Make a motion to approve resolution 2018 3, Heritage Days Class H Liquor License Waiver. Okay, you want to explain this to me? Why we're doing this? I need a second, actually. Second. Oh, I'll second. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I received a request from Heritage Days. They expressed concern that the timing, their timing, of getting the state license through the Liquor Control Commission that our requirement uh, would not give them enough time. That if they waited till 30 days before Heritage Days to submit it to the state, they wouldn't get it back in time. I disagree. That's how they expressed it to me. I disagree because it happened last year. I've seen it two years in a row where it went through. The first year was a little bit of a hitch because it had some problems, but the second year, there's no problem with it. I, uh, I don't know. I mean, is this changing like a whole thing, like permanently, or just not like for them, just to... just for this year? Okay. I mean, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. But it's just changing the time frame. It's not changing anything about it. Yeah, it definitely doesn't take more changing. than like a, you know, a day. You can do it online. But I mean, whatever. If they really need more time, then I don't care. But it is a quick turnaround thing. I've done it for the past two years. So. I asked for one bar, I asked her if she had any issues with it last year, because she did online. They just opened it up online last year. She said she didn't have any issue, but, but if they feel they need more time, then it's not really like, affecting us in a negative way. So I'd say I have an issue. Any other discussion? Call it. McKinley? No. Testory? Yes. Coffee? Yes. Kelly? Yes. Motion carried. Make a motion to approve resolution 2018 4 of Hotel Motel Grant to the Farmer City Antiques Group. I second it. Discussion? This is just what we normally get money, correct? Every yes. year? A thousand dollars or what is it? No, I think it's five hundred. Five hundred. Okay. And yes, we're, we're okay uh, in the fund itself. This comes from Hotel Motel. Hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? Nope. Call it. Chesori? Yes. Coffee? Yes. Kelly? Yes. McKinley? Yes. Motion carried. Make a motion for resolution 2018-5 approving the tip 2 grant for the White House rentals. Second. All right, discussion. Is this, this is for the repairs that were done? This is for a water line, private water line. Planned or unplanned or? I believe it was an emergency. Yeah. This is the one that they were here not too long ago discussing what was correct. Yeah, they came and asked uh, for something for everything, for what they had to pay and everything to run the line in. 
I guess I'm not opposed to it because uh, the way the line was initially put in and everything kind of run across somebody else's yard. This is a better deal as a business. I'm going to make 50%. How much? 50. I think that's a fair amount. What was the total requested? 19... 19.21.25. And we can do whatever we want, correct? As far as yeah, that. typically your policies from TIF 1 were up to 20%. Sure. Uh, I have seen in my experience 50% reimbursements for emergency. So yeah. 50 would not be out of the room. I don't have a problem with that. I think, I think so. the circumstances, that's yeah. fair. fair enough. Yeah. Scott, do you have anything on that? It doesn't set a precedent, it doesn't apply against the rules or? Well, we don't have rules for emergency. All right. I mean, we can amend our policies to set it at 50 for emergency, but right now all we say is up to 20. So it is going against our current policies, but it's not unheard of. This is for the uh, Woody's restaurant then? Mm -hmm. Further discussion? Call it. Coffee? Yes. Kelly? Yes. McKinley? Yes. Testory? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, we're going to have a discussion regarding the new electric rates for the senior citizens disabled in the electric key. Second it. I don't think we need a. We're just discussing it. Um, I received a couple of requests from a couple of different um, <clears throat> councilmen about, one was about senior citizens and then there was some requests about all electric or electric feet. So um, I kind of lumped them together and we'll just talk about it all at once. So I gave you two charts, well, <clears throat> yeah I did. Um, I did a survey of the other municipal power plants on senior citizen or low income discount and then I also asked um, about all electric. So after review, most of the communities do not offer a senior citizen or a low income discount. Um, three out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, more than eight or nine, um, do not do it. Springfield does a 10% discount. Princeton does a $4 on the base charge. I tried to look up their base charge today and it was online, so I can find out if you're interested. But, um, Freebird, uh, they do a chili cook-off fundraiser that they put into a fund to help people who are struggling, you know, here and there. Sure. Um, so after we've it, so basically on the senior citizens, I looked at, we have about a 17% senior um, population. So if you take 1,100 households, which is what we have right now in our utility building, um, that's about 187 houses, give or take. So based on that, I did, if you did 10% off the kilowatt or 10% off the base and show them the chart here, you know, what they would be saving and then what we would lose. Um, so that's the senior citizen. I don't know if you want to talk about that first or we can go to the electric. No, the heat. Okay. I mean the all electric. More communities did offer the difference <coughs> between summer and winter, especially for all electric. Um, most it's on the kilowatt usage. I've seen anything from 10% uh, to 35% off, usually just for four months, like November to February. Excuse me, it's like just a reduction in the kilowatt usage, or I mean the cost. So in the first chart I provided to you, if you did 35% off, I showed what a person would say. This is based on average usage of our, you know, I got an average usage of what we're sending out on a monthly basis. So it would save $281 a year. We'd lose over $14,000 a year. 20% is $132 a house per year. Uh, we'd lose about $6,600 a year. So that's the housing just during the winter months for electric heat. Then we had a, a request from the Genealogy Society as a non-for-profit. There are some communities that offer non-profit reduced rate. Um, so I based it off of that information and did the same thing. <clears throat> non-for-profit, 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 just because they're not-for-profit, you're offering Yeah, that's what they, mm -hmm. So this, 
Uh, in other communities, they have not-for-profit, which would be, it could be anything from your societies, like your legion, to let's say you had a um, United Way office in town, you know, so it can run the gamut. Um, but we only have the one that has the all-electric heat that I know of, so that's what I based it on. So that, that amount is nominal, but that doesn't mean that there aren't a few out, others out there that I'm not aware of. I know there's a few. Okay, let's talk about non, let's talk about electric heat. Mm -hmm. Because a heat pump is not electric heat. You're not, you're, the heat pump is a it's reverse of an air conditioner. You're pulling heat out of the air and putting it out versus taking the, the I want to say it, I gave you that explanation. Yeah, I read it. I just, um, this was based on what he told me and his usage doubled um, one month after they made whatever switch it was that they made. Their kilowatt usage went through. It went through. I don't remember. It was like you know, 400 to 2,000. So. Yeah, it could I guess because if your if your pump's running all the time, to sit there if it's not big enough to handle it, you're going to be good. You could run more. Well, it's just like the geothermal. I mean, I, I'm going to have to use myself as an example. I've got two heat pumps in my house, and uh, along with a boiler, so I've got I'm, I'm gas fed too. So. I, I I question it uh, a little bit. You understand what I'm saying? Sure. I I, I mean you're still running a, a furnace. You're running, you're running a furnace. boiler. Yeah. But I'm I'm thinking these would be like all wallboard heat. I, I'm thinking when I say when I think electric heat, I'm thinking of like right. this. Yeah, like, like registers, yeah. And you're doing that. Or you've got heating elements in the floor and you're let's okay. say and you've got a because you used to have all the electric homes back then. So you can also, you know, require the elimination of the gas meter. You know, there's no gas to the house. Too. Yeah. My recommendation is, if not to do anything, because you know, losing money on utility is not a good proposition. <laughs> but if you're going to go down that route, I would say less is more. You know, maybe like a ten or twenty percent. I'd, I'd rather see it come off the base, to be honest with you, because then it's it's consistent for those months where. Otherwise, it will. Yeah, you know, I mean, it could be huge. Could be a huge lot. loss. If you could run the thermostat at eighty and get twenty you know, right. percent yeah. off. If it came off the base, then it's not that that big a percentage. I mean, in the grand scheme. Now I will say, only ten percent is a dollar fifty, which isn't much. It's like eighteen dollars a year. Now you could do something like Princeton, where they're taking four dollars off their base, which is probably ten or fifteen dollars. So is that then, just? For the those Just that quarter, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be a jerk about this to the people that are asking for it. I'm trying to. to make, <clears throat> my point is, if we do this, and it kind of sets a precedent. Am I going to come up here and say, "Hey, you know, give me a break because I have, I don't have any, I have electric heat, you know, so to speak. I, I, I don't consider myself having you know, that heat pumps, but that's just what you could say. I think. Well, that's my concern. I agree, and not the heat pump part, but these numbers could be very low. I mean, if we have 17% senior citizens, that's saying one senior citizen per house. So then it, it could be less, it could be more. And that's a big loss of revenue for the, sure. for the utility that we're just eating. Right. I'd much rather see across the board for, the, for all the residents. I mean, I, I don't want to be a jerk also, but the, the, the senior citizen low income, that's, that's fine, but you, that fluctuates. And our residents are always paying too much. I mean, the rest of us pay to, pay a little too much. And eighteen is not a lot of money per year. Uh, but the other the other part of that is the complaints I've always got are for on commercial rates. So I mean, that's where I think our focus ought to be is on our businesses. A lot of those businesses are are using you know three phase. Look at the school. I mean, that's that pulls a lot of juice. I understand. You know the commercial the commercial rate itself is is more expensive. They, they have to look at consumption. Yeah. There, there's consumption there versus <clears throat> rate. You know there, there's what are you consuming and are you consuming it in an efficient way? And there's one of these in town that that's got a consumption issue, a major consumption issue, and they need to address it. It's not because our rates are too high. It's because their well, their consumption is high. The court report when we had our uh, was it a year ago we had a lady come in and tell us all about the mm -hmm. co-ops and all that. She said our rates wouldn't be in line for 10 years. Amherst, Amherst rate was lower than ours because they're down by law and they would come up and eventually they would all equalize. So the fact is that our rates are higher than other people's 
Actually, I just got, I, I don't mean to negate what you're saying, but I just received an email last week from IMEA that said that the na nation average Actually, yeah. is 0 .006 less than us. So we're almost right with the average. So I'm saying I'd rather, be, I'd rather go across the board with a, a discount for all the citizens than, than for a specific group. Uh, nope. Nope. I'll go, I'll, I'll go with the not-for-profits and give them a break. I'll give them a break like off the base. Sure. Yeah. yeah. We're still going across the board. We're in trouble with money. All right. This is how we make our money. Well, yeah, because at this point, we're purchasing our power, and, you know, then any difference, again, we're absorbing that cost. If we were producing it all the time, it would be a different ballgame. But we don't produce power every day. We cost us more. It's actually more costly to yeah, produce yeah. it right yeah. now. Yeah, we'd be more costly first to produce it. Than buying it wholesale. The, uh, if there's a, if a discount's approved, I'd like to see the equalization being on the equalization program as a requirement of getting the discount. Yeah, we'd have to determine. I mean, I only did this based on senior citizens, so the low income would be a little more difficult to determine. Uh, I don't know if low income is the right word. Perhaps we just do senior citizens slash disabled because then you can show that they're on SSI um, because it's the documentation. Of showing that they're on a fixed income. I've got a letter. I'm sure you guys all got this letter from Keith Good about the uh, about the rental property rent renters that, that skip out on electricity. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind seeing that be a requirement of, of a renter to be on the equalization program. Define the equalization program from your perspective. The, the equalization program, where I pay a set a set fee every month. And then there's either a balloon payment or a, re or a refund at the end of the at the end of the. Oh, you're talking about the like budget, budget billing. The budget okay. billing. Okay. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Terminologies. Well, budget billing doesn't keep somebody from skipping out. Right. The problem no, with budget billing is that. that they can get a bill for four hundred dollars at the end of the year because budget billing doesn't cover it. So then you've got these sure. people that <clears throat> slapped with this four hundred dollar bill that can't even make an eight. You, you can payment. budget bill on your own if you want to. You don't have to go through the city and do that. You can sit there and pay so much if your bill is on an average of. $40 a month, let's say you can pay $60 a month just to cover yourself whenever the high rate comes in. You know, and, and budget billing is not onto the city's, on our shoulders to sit there and let people budget billing. You can budget bill on your own if you want to. Just do it that way. Yeah, and I looked into the budget billing just to see if this would be, you know, an option that we could get lower income people to do it. But I mean, Ruth explained it to me that you know, at the end of the year, it, it could be off. I mean, your budget billing could be off to where you're getting... We had some people, I think, they had to come in and pay $600. Yeah, we, we I mean, a lot of money. Days gone by. I know a lot of people don't like me talking about the past and how I <laughs> was the mayor at one time, but when days gone by, we kind of solicited for some budget billing if you wanted to do that. And if you just pay more, than what, like I said, just pay more than what your bill is, average is and everything. If it's you pay, like I said, whatever it is, just bump it up. And that's your budget billing right there. And it, it'll, it'll average out over time, maybe comes a point where you might have to pay more, or you might have to pay anything, you know, you know, you don't have something there. But, um, so, it's, it, there's things like that's been around to talk about in the past. But there's also programs to help low income families, yes. like through the county and stuff like that, that they yeah, will help you to pay. Township. Right. So that's something that I feel like is already mm -hmm. being addressed. So like that is, and that's opening a whole different can of worms and you're talking about low income, I mean like versus senior citizen, like you said, I mean you can, you know, determine someone's age and mm -hmm. senior citizen and disability or whatever, but low income is, uh, I mean, it's a difficult line to walk. So I just think, if anything, I mean, you know, I would think a senior citizen would be the thing I'd consider, but I don't even know if it's worth it to lose that kind of money per year. I'd like to say it's due to a base off the non for profit. Yeah. Yeah. I go along with that. Money off the yeah, base rate. And I did one day like check our base rates and stuff, like to brand tool or to anybody that was within this that I could find like online and we are like really very close. And honestly, brand I mean, brand tool's got more like industrial, but they're higher on their base commercial rates and um, 
So we're very like comparable to the other towns that have anything that I could see that I, that was public online or whatever sure. on their city website. So you're thinking every senior citizen or just the poor senior citizens or just low income senior citizens? I don't know, and that's where you know it gets to be tricky, and that's why you know maybe it's just that you know, we do nonprofits to start and see how you know, and if groups like that want to, you know. Um, apply for it then we'll see how that goes and take one step at a time because are you talking about i'm sorry um for nonprofits just during the winter if they have electric heat or for all nonprofits, no matter what kind of heat is electric heat a choice well no, for example to. yeah Ge genealogy society had gas before uh, November, December. I mean, you can't make them get rid of their gas meter because they might have a light gas stove or a gas dryer. Yeah, but there's some yeah. events in here that don't even have a gas meter. There's apartments here that are, everything's electric. You know, obviously, you got your electric water heater, your, your, your basement. Are like that? Yeah, I own one just like that. So <laughs> the apartments are not going to be a not for profit. No, I'm right. we're not right. really talking about them. We're talking about not for profits. You know, non profit organizations, they have to have the documentation to be a non profit. So I think they ought to have that. to apply. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's a process. If anybody wants it, I mean, they're going to have to apply for it. Some people aren't even going to go through the steps mm -hmm. to even do that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just, I'm just saying, I think I would agree with doing something like that just to start. Well, maybe, see, maybe you can figure out how many. Rough estimate of non non for profits we got. Um, Would it even base be it off a couple different yeah. percentage rates, mm -hmm. just off the base, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and we can go from there. And, yeah. See what it looks like. We can bring it up at the next meeting. Okay. Uh, any other discussion on this one? I'd like to see if we can work work something with a commercial electric. electric. I can well, look at it. Yeah. I can do a comparison like I did with the others. <clears throat> this one spreadsheet, um, you know, can compare <coughs> commercial rates to ours and what they look like. Sure. I know one, maybe you can sit there and take a look at what they've got versus come back and tell us that we got to do something different. I'm not saying that we shouldn't, but. I know in the past there's been. Um, We've had the IMEA come in and do some looking at, at what's going on in some of these facilities, correct? As far as commercial yes. rates. Yes, energy audits. Mm -hmm. Did they do anything about the meter that we had uh, at the school? Well, he said we could separate it out, but we haven't yet. No. We haven't. Did they check the meters? The meters are, meters are good. Meters are good. Okay. They put in mm -hmm. a transformer that was too big. They're not using as many. KVs as it can produce, so I don't know what's happening to that energy. Mark could probably explain it better. I don't know if that affects their kilowatt usage or not, but he suggested that they could we could separate them out, so you could you know sure. it'll cost us about I don't know a couple thousand dollars to separate them out, so that we can you know they can track it better, we can track it better. I think for them, they need to do that. Or for them, we need to do that too. Is to just look for our own, so we can keep track. We can see what's going on. Well, they can kind of see from which facility that's going on. I think. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's 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 yeah. the grade school. It's they pinpoint it to the grade school. It's the geothermal. Mm -hmm. The thing about the, the geothermal is, well, if you don't insulate, it, well, it's the pumps that are running out. Oh, you sure? Be because so if you don't insulate that, your pumps are going to run all the time and everything because you can't. <coughs> Bring the heat up, shut off. The thermostat won't shut off. The trick is to geothermal. You have definitely got to insulate the building. Oh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, grade school is 1362 kilowatts per day average. High school is 2670 per day average. It's twice the school, though. Yeah, it is twice but the size. God, I checked. I checked. I, I when we went to a basketball game on one of our road trips. The guy sent me far less than what we use. Far yeah, less, the same size of building. Really? I checked the two schools. Far less than what we use. I far know, less. I mean, it, it's 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 like seven thousand, right? Oh my, it's more than that. No, I mean they were using seven thousand. Yeah. In a month. Seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand kilowatts. In the whole in, time. In a year, where we're using eight two point five. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. 
So like if I find school. a superintendent there at school we went to, I'd sit there and hit them all up. Like, too busy and everything when we go there. So. Any other discussion on this? So you just want to proceed looking at the nonprofit and getting some commercial rates? Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. All right, section three, we're going to move on to new business ordinance resolutions for initial consideration. Um, other items, the city manager's report. Uh, I just wanted to announce that uh, we didn't find a huge leak, but we found several large leaks that over the weekend our water usage is back to normal. Um, so I guess it was a few, you know, leaks that added up that he noticed, Calvin, that as he addressed some of these big ones, it, you know, the usage went down and down and down. So the latest one was a very old pipe in service at Haney and Green. Um, he said once they fix that on Friday over the weekend, they had normal usage. So water color and quality should improve until, you know, with the spring and everything will flush hydrants and start up again. But The plant actually shut off, correct? Mm -hmm. it Finally shut up? off. Mm -hmm. Um, just so if anybody sees, we are aware of a pole. We just took it down on South Street. There are three street lights that are out. So uh, they're going to go out tomorrow and um, try to get that fixed. They just weren't going to do it tonight since it's just three minor street lights, but we are, are aware of it. And I wanted to send out a big thank you to the school district for letting us use their facilities last Saturday, or a week ago Saturday. Um, they were very, very great hosts, helped us, you know put the, the room together and use it and I really appreciate it. That's yes, thank you. It. Anything else? Okay. Section or uh, not only the items or other business, anybody have anything? Okay, we're gonna move on to uh, section four which will be the executive session. I move to the going executive session. Second. Hi Phil. CS, CS-102-2, C-6, and testing the price for sale of this property on the public side. Second. Okay. We're going to go into executive, executive <coughs> session. If you can step outside or into the room on the side, that would be great. Go ahead. Oh, roll. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. McKinley? Yes. Destroy? Yes. Rocky? Yes. Motion yes. yes. there. Yes. Bobby? Yes. Kelly? Yes. Kimberly? Yes. Okay.